Most liquids, when cooled, will simply shrink. Water, on the other hand, actually expands when it is frozen. Its volume will increase by about 9%. Suppose you have one-third of a gallon of water that gets frozen. What is the volume of the ice that you now have? So you're starting with one-third of a gallon of water. And they tell us that when it, when it gets frozen, when it turns into ice, its volume is going to expand by 9%. So the new volume is going to be your existing volume. So this is the original volume. Original volume, one third of a gallon. And it's going to expand by 9%. So your frozen volume is going to be your original volume plus 9% of your original volume. So plus 9% of your original volume. So you could say it's 9% times one third. So this right over here is going to be the expanded volume. Now there's a bunch of ways we can figure it out. We could turn things to decimals or whatever else. But they, ex they tell us to express, express your answer as a fraction. So let's make sure that everything here is a fraction, and then we'll just try to simplify. So the one thing that's sitting here that is not a fraction is our 9%. Well, what does 9% actually represent? Well, 9% literally means 9 per 100. So we can rewrite this as, so this is going to be equal to 1 third plus, instead of writing 9%, I'll write that as 9 per 100, and then once again times 1 third. Times 1 third. And we can simplify this expression right over here. We have a 9 in the numerator, a 3 in the denominator. If we divide both of them by 3, we get a 3 and a 1. And so we're left with 1 third plus 3 hundredths times 1 over 1. Well, that's just going to be 3 hundredths. So this is just going to be equal to 1 over 3 plus, I'll write this in orange still, or maybe I'll do it in a new color, plus 3 over 100. Plus 3 over 100. And now we have to add something with, ha or two, two numbers that have different denominators. So let's find a common denominator. So this is going to be equal to, well, the least common multiple of 3 and 100, is, and they share no common factor, so it's really just going to be the product of 3 and 100. The least common multiple is 300. So it's going to be something over 300 plus, plus something over 300. Now, to go from 3 to 300 in the denominator, you multiply by 100. So you have to multiply the numerator by 100 as well. So 1 third is the same thing as 100 over 300. And to go from 100 to 300, we had to multiply by 3 in the denominator. So we have to multiply by 3 in the numerator as well. So 3 hundredths is the same thing as 9, 9, 3 hundredths. And now we're ready to add. This is going to be 100 plus 9 over 300, which is 109 over 300. So this is the volume of ice that I now have expressed as a fraction.